Okay, just check this in, it's 27 euros, including an electric hooker, and they've got a pool. I don't know if you guys know this, but out in Europe, there's a lot of campsites still use this old European two-pin. So coming out to Europe, you're gonna need a, an adapter to convert that. Um, first campsite, and they need it already. But there you go, so we can plug our usual lead in there and then this two pin straight into there we go and we're good to go right let's get that aircon on and get in the pool right that's the aircon on Whew. and it's hot it's 33 degrees and it's what is it six o'clock in the evening yeah. and it's 33 degrees when we got off the um ferry it was just 19 degrees and a little overcast wasn't it yeah but we drove two hours south to burgos and the campsite we're at is <laughs> Camping Quinta de Cavia, if that's how you say it. Um, there'll be a link in the description for it, but it's got a pool. The boys are off there now. Um, I was needed to do some video editing, but I'm going to need a dip in the pool first. I think so. Okay, going with plan B. Um, my aircon keeps tripping out. It's not just the aircon, it's the aircon and the inverter and all the power that that van is trying to pull so I've got a second lead we'll throw this in and hopefully stop it tripping actually while we're at it is another top tip is to carry a spare cable because I've been to some campsites in Europe where the electric point is that far away I've needed two cables joined together to get the electric to me so top tip for you there but also I carry two of these uh, little uh, two pin converters as well so fortunately I can use both cables so there you go you definitely want to be picking one of these up they're only a few quid but you're going to need them in Europe so there you go also got one of these so I can plug this in there here I carry all the adapters for this every eventuality and then a the UK three pin will go in there which is what the aircon is wired on there you go so now the aircon can have its own little source Pool's good <laughs> That's cooled me off. <laughs> How's the campsite so far, George? Amazing. Yeah? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Guys, I'm not sure why, but this place is absolutely empty. There's like one, two caravans here. And probably kind of 50, 100 pitches. I don't know why. It's really sad. It is sad, yeah. Um, we're gonna have a look at the amenities. Let's have a quick look around the loos. Yes. Lindsay said the loos are nice. So yes. let's check them out. They're purple and sparkly. Purple and sparkly. Well, the door's impressive. Oh, wow. Look at this. And there's the showers. Good color scheme. Yeah, facilities here look top notch if I'm honest with you. Really, really nice. Like them. The restaurant looks really nice and they do a four course meal um, with a drink for 15 euros a head. So we're going to save Lindsay cooking tonight and splash out first night in a restaurant. Me and the big boys have all chosen this smoked salmon salad with asparagus and poached egg. It looks blooming awesome. And I've got black pudding and red Lo peppers. It's a local black pudding. You want to try some? Yes. <laughs> George, what have you ordered? Uh, meats. Mm. The cheese is weird. Is it? <laughs> it's good. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The, um, it's just beautifully seasoned and delicious. Really good. I chose trout. Um, with bacon for my main course. It looks stunning. And I have veal and little potatoes. Look, they even have their own branded wine. Fantastic. How is it, honey? Oh, it's delicious. Everything's been delicious. I ordered the homemade creme caramel. I think it's creme caramel. Caramel dessert. <laughs> looks awesome. Ready? Chocolate sauce. Mm. Oh, 
that's amazing. Wow. And it comes with ice cream too. How was that, my love? It was delicious. Really good start to the Spanish leg of our summer trip. First night and we're eating out at a lovely restaurant. Yep. Don't get used to that now. <laughs> I know McDonald's from here on in. <laughs> oh, it was worth it though. It's great value. Really good value. Three courses plus a glass of wine for 15 euros. 15 euros, not 15 pounds. Yes. Oh. And it was such good, it great was quality. Such great food, wasn't it? Mm. My trout was delicious. Loved it. Good. Happy wife. Happy life. <laughs> oh, that was a lovely meal. Absolutely fantastic. Um, it's about half past eight, and the kids are back from the meal, and I think they've gone swimming again. Let's go and have a look for them, shall we? But certainly, George. Hey, George. Hey. Where's Harry? Harry was over there a second ago. Okay, so you're on your own? Yeah. You alright? Yeah, I'm amazing. <laughs> I love this. You love swimming pools, don't you? Yeah. Good morning. Oh, just had a nice fresh shower. The showers here are fantastic. I really, I really don't understand why this site is not busier than it is. Showers are lovely. Restaurant last night was fantastic. The food was great. Um, talking about showers. Um, I wanted to show you guys what we use in our shower because we rarely use our shower for showering. If we're wild camping for a few days, then we will. But getting five people through our shower um, can be a little challenging at times. So we'll often just use the showers on the site. But I'll show you what we use our shower for. So we have um, a couple of these octopuses from IKEA um, that we'll often hang clothes in the shower on. But also we have these suction um, hooks also from IKEA. And you'll see we mainly use them to hang our shower robes and uh, the octopus to uh, hang the swimming trunks when they're drying and down there we've got a nice large laundry bag and we keep fresh water around there so that's what we use our shower for what do you guys use the shower for do you use it to shower or do you use it storing wet clothes and stuff like we do and Lindsay's outside doing some yoga and I put out the GoPro to shoot a time lapse for you. Oh, I am so stiff from traveling and not moving my body around enough. So it's time for some stretchy yoga, maybe some sweaty yoga afterwards. I don't know, maybe just sweaty, stretchy. Let's decide, let's get this body moving again. Oh. usual fitness yoga that was a let's get fit again <laughs> I have been really struggling the last couple of weeks I've just realized I'm doing that it's because I'm not stretching I'm not looking after myself properly so commitment here on camera I'm gonna do at least 15 minutes of yoga every single day to stretch my body out and after I've done that maybe I'll be able to do some fitness yoga as well a bit windy out here this morning I did want to put the drone up for you but um, not going to happen today. But George is off for an early morning dip in the pool. So I thought I'd come find him. Hey, George. There's the restaurant over there where we ate last night. And right here is the pool. And they've got some chairs and stuff out here. As I said guys, this is a lovely little site and 27 euros for the night with electric and use of the swimming pool. You definitely want to check this one out if you're coming by Burgos. There's a link in the description. In our next van, I want a water filtration system, but we don't have that. What we do have is quite a complicated system, kind of. 
Um, we have big bottles that we store in the shower. I top smaller bottles to keep chilled in the fridge and then each morning before we head off I'll top up the the chilli flasks and these will stay cold all day with lovely chilled water. So as we got here late afternoon yesterday went for a quick dip and then went to the restaurant last night we didn't set out a pitch so packing up is going to be easy this morning um, it's got a couple of cables to put away and go and empty the loo. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Let's go to Madrid. <laughs> 